Hey guys, you're watching God's Country with Brian Nips. And today we're in Canal County. I got a couple hours before our <clears throat> Wednesday night uh, church service. So I got about two hours to hunt before I have to skedaddle. And I thought I'd try to walk over the hill and kill a few gray squirrels, hopefully. Um, but I just before I went over the hill and get set up, I just wanted to take a minute. In the background, you can see a this tree behind me. Uh, the significance of this tree is when I was 12 years old, I killed my first gray squirrel ever out of this tree behind me. I remember it like it was yesterday. I killed it with a uh, 410 Remington Model 870 pump uh, Wingmaster shotgun. It was a little small gray squirrel. And man, when I was a kid, squirrel season would come in the first Saturday of October. And on Friday night, it was like Christmas Eve. You you couldn't sleep. You you were so excited. You couldn't wait for Saturday morning to come. And uh, as I was walking through here and seeing this old tree, it just it reminded me back when I was 12. I'm 50 now, and here I am in this same woods doing the same thing I was doing 38 years ago, uh, trying to shoot a couple gray squirrels to take home and, and eat. I'm fixing to walk over this hill and get set up. I have a ladder stand there that I bow hunt out of, and I'm going to set in that this evening. I know it's kind of unusual to set in a ladder stand and squirrel hunt, but it's comfortable up there and I, I got a good uh, view and hopefully I'll see two or three squirrels and be able to get get a couple but uh, the thing is when when I was a kid I'd sit over that hill and squirrel hunt and I could look down at the bottom of the hill a pretty good ways away but I could still see it that was my grandparents house and I could sit there and squirrel hunt and still be inside of the house and if they come out in the yard and hollered real loud i could hear them and i'd, I'd know when to come home but uh and that uh tree stand i'll still be i'll be able to look down there and see my grandparents house but uh you know they're not there no more they're gone and my dad and my aunt that used to live there they're all gone but uh certainly it brings back memories as a 50 year old sitting here hunting in these woods still doing the the things that i've loved to do ever since i was a young boy and i'm blessed to be able to uh to have the opportunity to do it and so uh i'm grateful for these opportunities to hunt and you know one of the reason i i record these it's it's not because i think i'm ever going to be some big youtube star because i i mean i know better than that i'm i'm an old man playing a young man's game i get that but one day I might have some grandkids that might be able, they may be interested in hunting and fishing, things like that. And they might be able to pull up these videos and watch and see some of the hunts and, and, and some of the trout I've caught in the mountains. And what I wouldn't give to be able to have technology to go back and sit and watch my grandpa's, the times they took me fishing, the times they took me hunting and wouldn't that be so cool to be able to go back and watch your grandpa you know obviously we didn't have that technology when i was a kid but think of how cool it would be to to be able to go back now and sit down and watch hunts and stuff that your your grandpa's went on i think i'd be pretty cool man i i'd probably i'm not one to sit around and watch tv but i think i'd be glued to sitting around a tv screen watching that for hours i mean i could just watch it all day but anyway enough of that i'm gonna slip over the hill sit in that tree stand we'll check in with you here in a minute hopefully we'll be able to sit there for 10 or 15 minutes let the woods calm down a little bit and then we'll start hearing them leaves rustle start seeing them limbs shake a little bit and maybe get on an old squirrel or two you you come and go with me and wish me luck all right all right i'm up here in the stand i'm set up ready to go of course the wind's blowing which i don't like but uh knowing my luck today i'll have a huge buck come in here and not see a single squirrel 
you know how it is you go bow hunting and you don't see a buck and there's squirrels everywhere but uh anyway we're gonna give it a shot we got about two hours to set before we got to get home so hopefully uh we'll have some squirrels come in here in the next 10 or 15 minutes all right guys here comes a red squirrel i don't know if y'all see it or not but he's he's a goner <laughs> He come running up here to me almost like he was wanting to die. Yeah. I'm gonna go get uh, get these couple squirrels and bring them up here and start cleaning on them. I like cleaning on them right after I kill them because they're easier to, to skin that way. <laughs> 